So, welcome everybody. We're just waiting for Leprax to come in and we'll be kicking this off with a show match between GMT and Smileside. Uh, there is a prize pool of uh, 10 euros match, a map, and it's gonna be three maps. Mm, I'm not gonna do most of the talking because that's not what I'm here for. I'm just here to answer the questions of uh, Leprax and Zombie. Hello zombie and hey. Prax. Hello. Uh, we are on the server waiting for you. I'll be there very soon. And jo Joel is already shit talking smile side. I think he should get an award for that at least. Is that his real name? Is it Joel? Oh, yeah, GMT. <laughs> Joel. It's a nice name. Unusual for an English man. It's I don't know if it is. I think so. Yeah, from my way anyway. But it's a nice name. Hmm. Yeah. Sometimes it's a nice guy too. <laughs> Multiplayer. Here I come. It's the one server where there are people. Here I am. It's so hard to find. Toxicity. Are they going to start with that? I think that's Joel's pick, but I don't know if they uh, picked yet. What's the map pool? The map pool is um, um, Purgatory, which is a Doombringer map. And then there's Toxicity and Arrowwalk and Aggressor and Fuse, which is a Xonodic map. Yeah, yeah. We, when we played, we... Um, I agreed that we thought probably Fuse might be the map that suits the game the best. Yeah, I mean, you can move around a lot more freely in Fuse, for sure. Yeah. But, uh, I, don't know, I don't know. I don't particularly... I, it's not a favourite map for anyone. You don't get on with it? Uh, it's not a, anyone's favourite map in the game. Let's right. just say that. Um, Aggressor is uh, very popular with uh, Yamasaki and Crazy Al, for instance. Uh, nice. Seems like, uh, mm. just seemed to us like it would suit the movement a lot. Yeah, it certainly does. Airwalk was a bit too small Provoking when you get so much speed. <laughs> Only map I know though. Which one? Airwalk. Oh yeah. I know this one a bit. Because you watch so much QuakeCon. 
Um, I think it... I played it in CPM. Toxic City... I CPM? Think works. CPM mate, yeah? Yeah, it's a CPM. I didn't know you played that a lot. Yeah, it's um... Puka Thorny. <laughs> what it. it's calling that. Or like, isn't it called Evolution or something? The... Yeah, Evolution. The nickname. Uh, the name is Puka Thorny. Uh, yeah. Uh, the... I ban aggressor. What? They started with the man's out well and as long as they are agree. Dual one, which map is that? Uh, that's purgatory. Uh, mm -hmm. It's the map I made myself. Okay. Uh, oh, Smile like side it. doesn't know that map, so he, he skips it because of that. Fair enough. So, so it's a best of three then? Yeah. Uh, what should we do with well, uh, uh, it's when we're casting this? Should we just follow the leader? Or um because we all want to be looking at the same person, don't we? Really? Yeah, there, there there's no uh, follow killer on, so No, but we could just automatically Yeah, we can fo we can follow the leader. That's probably unless yeah, we, we follow decide leader or to follow killer. Well, I think follow leader is okay. more interesting. Yeah. Then then we can oh. just uh, Say I'm gonna follow the other guy now, right? Because this is yeah, more interesting right now. Us or any one of us can okay. switch and check what other guy have. Yeah. Stack so wise. We'll, we'll start with the guy that picked the map. What? Smile picked fuse. That was interesting. Yeah, because he'll know it from because he played a lot of Zenotic, hasn't he? Yeah, true. But uh, I mean, I expected him to pick Arrow Walk because it's his. Uh, he likes Arrow Walk so much. Yeah, but uh, maybe that's why he wants it as decider. Yeah, maybe. Well, he certainly got uh, a heads up. Uh, he's certainly got an advantage of use. Yeah, for sure. I guess Joe. So, so, Jim, take this map. So we start on him then. Yeah, we'll start with the uh, map picker, so we'll start with um, GMT on the Tox. Yeah. And uh, he usually wins against me here, so he should have a, it should be an interesting fight at least. But, uh, yeah, what, uh, what some of that demo looked like, looked like a hard fight for you. Yeah, he's, uh, he's feeling right at home here. But the, that said, the Smile Scythe is certainly the favorite to take it, but... I'm hoping Joe will come out swinging. <laughs> so he's gonna. Ah, yeah. Right, you want you Plus, uh, Joel has played uh, a lot more than Smile Scythe has, so he knows the game a lot better. Yeah, he What's should be used to the movement as well. Yeah. But, but then again, Smile Scythe. Is a lot better at movement than Joel is. Yeah. In general, oh, GMT. Yeah. yeah, GMT. I mean, <laughs> he gets the yellow, LG, and, and the red. red. It's smart, like in a tricky situation there. Yeah, and Joel goes for the act for the fight rather than making sure yeah. you got ammo. Uh, otherwise, he probably would have got a. Could have got Mega as well. Yeah. Oh, Mega's still up. Nice. Oh, by the way, what is the Mega system in this game? It's the same as in uh, Quake Live, only the so Mega uh, burns out for faster. Okay, so, so it's every 35 seconds. Yeah, it comes up for uh, after 30, 35 seconds, but okay. uh, it burns uh, two health per second instead of just one, like in quick line. Yeah. Okay. It ticks down faster. Yeah. It's like, so it's like a double mega pickup in um, Quake World. Mm. What do you mean? When you so when you pick up a mega in oh, Quake okay. World. Okay. No, but Quake World actually has. I'm pretty sure Quake World has pretty fast burn as well it's one per second yeah but okay. if you pick up two megas yeah. then it's yeah, one per second you see got the first frag yeah uh, for each mega so that'd be two per second yeah okay. if you got two megas 
Yeah. Uh, Oh, he's in Smile Scythe hasn't played the, the game in yeah, yeah, uh, a while, like so he's not. He hasn't uh, really tried the new balance and stuff. Yeah, oh, nice trap there by uh, GMT. Yeah, made that look easy. But it's really low though. Oh, a bit of chat spam trolling there from GMT. Oh, oh nice that was nice. He's still in the lead though. Yeah, ever so slightly. Yeah. But Smiley got the Mega. And there we can see the power of the lightning gun. <laughs> Basically stopping Smiley in his tracks. And now I'm not sure what GMT is doing. The GMT seems like he knows what he's doing. He's got nice, quite nice fluid movement already. Yeah, but he avoided getting the rail. Yeah. Just went for the mega that just the mega saved him there though. Yeah, that was fortunate. That was nice, nice rocket. Yeah, nice direct hit. Another interesting thing about Joel is he. GMT is he doesn't like rockets or projectile weapons. He often jokes about okay. them being uh, not counting when he hits them, or uh, he doesn't feel good even when he hits them. Okay. Um, he likes to use rail and lighting gun most of all. I wonder. I wonder why. He, he feels it's more lucky when he hits them than the rockets. And, uh, Plasma. Uh, I guess it depends on the uh, amount of splash damage. Oh, well, what happened? There's a frag trade there. Yep. Yeah. So Christ, did them. So this is I mean, really. If you imagine a rocket that had zero splash damage, yeah. then that would mean that it would take more skill to hit with it. Because you would, because every rocket would then have to be a direct. So. Yeah, but uh, his mind, it, it, he doesn't feel like he hit it because. It, he intended because of to skill. because yeah, it yeah, was just okay. random blind luck, you know. Whoa! Whoa! Look out! Oh, oh, okay, oh, then that was which just smile. <laughs> smile side finally takes the lead. He's been working He's hard for it. Damn. Those raids from Joel, twitchy as they may be, has kept him on a bay for a long time. Yeah, now. yeah. Yeah. And this is probably where Joel mm, will struggle because uh, when he when he loses control, he can sometimes a lot of time he tend to. He just uh, kind of loses the sort of focus a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I can do the same. He talks about himself as choking a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's very common. And smile side is it's, obviously. It's kind of hard, you know, when you do so well, and then you lose mm. control. It's like uh, it's very difficult to deal with mentally. Yeah, but it's still a close fight. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. it's still putting up the damage. But uh, he's just over halfway through now. Free frag advantage to Smile Scythe. Let's see what Joel oh, can left the red. come up with. Yeah, I think he yeah, he probably felt like he'd die if he took it. Yeah. That is a really good track Ooh. to pull on. Nice to do that. Ah, now, now Joel's. Yeah, yeah, he's got a chance now. He must know it as well. But they're so fast in the beginning <laughs> jumps. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the tricky part, is catching your opponent. Yeah. yeah. But I, there Joe comes back with it. Yep. Yeah. Now smile. Ooh. Whoa! He okay. kills himself. Discharged. Is it discharging this game or not? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's the same as in Quake World. 
or yeah. quake one at least. Do you damage the opponent if they are near? Uh, it depends on. I th I'm not sure how it works now, to be honest, because it's the same function as in Quake well. mm. Uh But I think you have to aim at them or something. Right. Yeah, and there's like uh, in Quake well, it's just how much uh, arm uh, ammo you have. There's yeah, like yeah. the yeah. area around. Yeah, the, the ammo you have uh, is I dispersed. Think I think that what the rule is is it's um, the distance it covers is the square of the amount of ammo you have. Ah, that explains a lot. So say you've got a hundred cells, that's one thousand units. Yeah, but this is a one frag game, and I mean Joe's not giving up yet, anyway. <laughs> yeah, he's he's suicided though. Yeah, but. My side is in a bad position here. Oh, I say, and then he kills Joe. <laughs> yeah, if he can stack up quickly, he'll be, he'll be alright. But... but he's quite low now, so he can stick to the page. Joe actually imagine. only needs to hit him twice with a bolter or anything to kill him here. Yeah, hardly knows to touch him right now. Problem is, is the information. He's actually knowing yeah. that, isn't it? Yeah. Nice boost rocket. A bit of the fun playing Doombringer. These, these guys certainly make it look like a lot of fun. They just can move a lot better in the game than I can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so close. Oh, yeah, because there we go. It comes a lot more fast paced. <laughs> so fast. <laughs> yeah, as far as. And I'm from Quake World. It's like, and yeah, exactly. Well, it, it's considerably faster than Quake World as well. Uh, the lighting gun has been improved quite a bit. It's not quite as powerful as in Quake World, but it can still have a, a, these where you just uh, push your pl uh, opponent away. Mm. Yeah, I yeah. Think, I think that's a good uh, thing, though, because you have more weapons in this game than yeah. Quake World. I think. I think the range on it's higher as well, though, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's a bit longer range. Yeah. Because it was uh, not working out with the original range, really. Yeah. Which works also with the. Uh, I mean, in Quake World, it makes sense to have a shorter range because it's so powerful. Yeah. So. Well, yeah. Just imagine if that a long range, it'd be ridiculous. Yeah. So one frag game, 17 seconds left. Uh, Joe, don't. Smart stuff gets the mega, that's pretty Miss bad push. news. Come on, Joe. Yeah. Uh, I think it's I think late, though. Joe doesn't use the announcer either, so I think he uh, might be missing that the time is up. GG uh, to Smart That first. was a very close game, though. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good game. And Joe. Joel expected himself to be. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> are they going to play the full three maps then, or are they going to? Yeah, the plan three? is to play the maps anyway, but. Yeah. Uh, it's a small cipher. Could take yeah. the, the reason it's Euros. best of three re released to keep it at least interesting because if smart if they played the maps there, they don't know particularly well. Yeah. <laughs> Probably would yes. be very entertaining. A lot of complaints though. Uh, <laughs> Joe Joe likes to jo joke about the ammo system because he helped to design it. Ah. <laughs> Uh, so the ammo system is slim, similar to Quake World, he's, for he's instance. Uh, was was it designed to get Kraysal uh, confused? Because he usually in Quake World doesn't pick up the ammo boxes. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like ammo boxes, does he? No. <laughs> yeah, he should have learned that by now because he plays a, he's plays the most Doombringer of all. Aside from all right. me, though, of course. Oh, this is uh, almost like that? a Tourney Four, right? 
this ain't fused. Wrong map. They moved the wrong map. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. yeah, this map is actually, oh, I made it yeah, we played this. direct inspiration of, uh, because me and Joel are the two people in the world that likes Tourney 4. Oh no, <laughs> Tourney 4 is an awesome map. But uh, no one else wants map. to play this. Vertical Vengeance oh, 2. Oh yeah, yes, I wonder. Anyway, I'm, it's uh, still very much in progress. I haven't played it much. I'm not too crazy about how it turned out yet. Mm, it's not as good. tight you as... You have uh, uh, sliding doors and whatnot yet in the game, I presume. Yeah. You don't? You, yeah, I do. do. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. There's actually a door in this map right now. Oh, is there? Okay. Yeah. You can turn, mm. shoot the switch and close the doors on the rail. Okay. So, here's Fuse. The uh, the map where you can do a lot of uh, free running in this. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But it's uh, a lot slower to playing than Toxicity because it's so big and mm. yeah. So you, if you're out of control, you can you can really succeed at hiding a bit more. Yeah, but yeah. At the same time, it also since it's made for Toxicity. Focuses on Otic, where uh, and we are on Smile side. Uh, yep. Since it's a main focus on Otic, which is uh, has a whole different set of weapons, it really it's it yeah, makes, yeah. Uh, I've not really played that game. Yet. So Smile side yeah. gets the first. So it rep. plays a lot different from that. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh mega, mega. mega, quite stacked. Yeah. I think Smile Sight is probably gonna show. Oh, oh, what? Mercy, mercy play there, I think. Yeah. Mm. Once Smile Sight gets going, I think we'll see a bit of a wash here, really. Because, I mean, Joel is wanted yeah, actually to, <laughs> to not play this map. Uh, yeah. Smile Sight has probably played this map, I don't know, thousands of times, I'd expect. Yeah, I played it with versus him in Sonotic once, and yeah, it wasn't as bad as playing Arrowwalk against him, but uh, it certainly was. He sh he knows this map very yeah. well. He gets the first kill. There we go. <coughs> I don't know this map, so. <laughs> um. Yeah. They, it's a. Uh, since it's so big, it's hard to. Is it a dual map in, in Sonoria also then? Yeah, actually, yeah. it's a, a dual map in Quake Live as well. Yeah. But it's mm. extremely slow there. It probably worked it better a as a TDM map, to be honest. Originally, it was it was a Zonotic map, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I get a bit of uh, Warsaw feeling it. Well, just because well, of the colors. Yeah, the like layout. Hmm. Well, uh, uh, Warsaw has Wars kind of cool levels. Warsaw certainly has some interesting levels. Mm. Oh yeah. Which uh, makes sense since uh, they have that extra movement system. The dash. Yeah. Yeah. No, these textures are nice. I like them. Thank you. I made them. <laughs> um, it's like it's modern, but it's not. It's not trying too hard, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I oh, know. I'm trying clean. to make a nice balance between sharp design and yeah. without being boring, you know. I yeah. Want yeah. I think you will see that quite, quite well. Eventually, we'll get there. <laughs> um. So yeah. I think Joel's doing a pretty amicable job here, actually. Keep yeah. Smile side. Uh, oh, this is not good. No one is using the shotgun. Yeah, because the shotgun's actually really powerful, isn't it? Am I right? Yeah. yeah. It's uh, it's the biggest dealing one-shot weapon. Okay. 
if I you assuming you actually hit it. with it, which yeah. is not necessarily the easiest thing. Oh really? Well, uh, you really have to be really close to hit perfectly, of course. Okay. And uh, but uh, if and if you are about a bit, little bit distance, you will be can only expect to do about half the damage with it at most, assuming you yeah. hit a straight on shot. Then. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the the uh, GMT there. Yeah. Yeah. He got. Uh, oh, he's on negative scores. Also. Yeah, oh. yeah. Yeah, he, he fell into that. the lava there. Yeah. But it. Yeah. Oh. Now. But he's. Uh, he's made real nice comebacks here before. Against me, so. Yeah, he's pushing for that kill there. He's unlucky not to get it. All the um, are the item placements in this game more or less the same as they are in um, Zonotic? Um, it's hard to say exactly because the items are different in Zonotic. You know, they don't yeah, have the yeah. same. But uh, more or less, I would say. Yeah. Uh, the weapons are, of course. I added uh, another weapon spawn below the Mega, for instance. But the rocket right. launcher is where the rocket launcher is in Xenotic. Yeah, yeah. The armors are where the armors are. So, so but um, I think we can see here uh, that uh, Joe's experience with the game gives him a lot of uh, advantage compared with against uh, some other size experience with the map. Yeah, so where do you think um where do you think Smart Life is falling short then in terms of game knowledge here? Well uh I think uh, Joel has better experience with the the weapon balance now since he's yeah played yeah. recently. A lot of sense. Yeah. And uh, for instance, he knows that the lighting gun is a more formidable weapon than it used to be. Yeah. Nice grenade kill there. But uh, I think uh, Smiles have pr probably. Uh, well, it seems like he's just <laughs> fucking around, to be honest. <laughs> um, I think it's uh, quite hard though. To come back when like, it's so easy to just run away on this map. Yeah. Well, Especially yeah, but so you can obviously move quite well, and he. The thing probably is, probably learned a lot of the pickups already. So. Fights can go on quite long in this game. Mm. Yeah, uh, I've noticed that. But uh, and one, th so you can have uh, these long fights because uh, it's uh, it actually makes me think of. How a kung fu movie can be, you know? Oh right. Uh, you have they can long... sort of move around the map, aren't they? They're not just on one area of the map. Yeah, because it can be one player it's... trying to get away and the other player is chasing, and they're restacking yeah, while they're doing it. It can be a lot of back start. and forth, you know. Yeah. Shots fired and even and a lot of good hits taken, but since you yeah. can move so fast, you can get away from it. And yeah. But. Um, once you get a good, you can get a real good frag stream going as well. So even yeah. if you like had a t ten, ten frag lead for the majority of the game, if you yeah. if you relax uh, or something, if you don't make sure to keep that the control, you can quickly lose it all because uh, of how fast you can make those frags back, assuming. Right. The opportunity presents itself here. So like Mega up. Like yesterday, I played versus Yamasaki, and I thought I was gonna win this. Yeah. Um, because I had like 11 frags, uh, and he had zero or something. And then, then he got a kill, and he man managed to take it back in mm. in a lot shorter time than it took me to <laughs> yeah 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 
That shit happens in Quake World as well. Yeah, and I think that's uh, really good because it makes the game it more interesting to watch, even if it is. Yeah, yeah, especially for the viewers, it can be frustrating yeah. for a player. Sometimes you you're grinding out, say, a seven frag lead over the course of eight minutes, and then and then you lose it all within twenty seconds or something. <laughs> so yeah, and hard to take. And I think the, it's really f the fi fights are really fun because they are can be so. Uh, dynamic that you move around the map and fighting uh, as you go along, you know. Just yeah. Like. And sometimes you get really ridiculous fights like this one. Yeah. <laughs> Throwing grenades everywhere. Yeah. I guess with nine uh, frag loot, a small side is. Yeah, but now much. now Joe got two frags back there and just that. Yeah. And now he just now he has a great opportunity here too. If he, unless he, if he goes, to the yeah. So there's already three frags there, but oh, I just saw time. <laughs> yeah, you got nine seconds there. Very unlikely. I keep forgetting to watch the timer when I play and watch as well. So, so what's that? Twenty euros to smile siphon. Yeah, he's gonna. I would be city. <laughs> uh, I think Smiles I forgot to update or something. Ah, okay. Uh, or his config uh, set the timer in the wrong place. Yeah, it could so be. Uh, because I had that, but I just had to change the aspect ratio, I think, when I was playing on my CRT. Um, or his uh, config, because I, I changed how the timer was drawn, so... Uh, in a couple <coughs> of versions back Vote to pass. make it less um, messy. Mm. <laughs> 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 it needs food! Need the wind snap then. Well, Joe likes this map in Doombringer at least. Shall we uh, start with uh, GMT? GMT yeah. Seeing as he, uh, he's the underdog. He's, yeah, and he needs to earn his money. Yeah. yeah. And we had uh, had it on Smiley's side the whole other map. So. Pretty. Yeah. Yeah, we did all the way here. Yeah. Get him some screen time. Gotta give him some love. So he might be less angry. I like how, I like how the camera spins when you die sometimes. Hmm. All oh, right. When you spec and someone dies, it's like spins around. Yeah. Oh yeah, that it follows the the head as he yeah. bounces. Oh, okay. It's a nice effect. <clears throat> I know this map. <laughs> Oh, there we go. And we're live. Okay, save. He doesn't even go for the yellow there. No, I think uh, Smiley took it though. Okay. Yeah, I think he was there. Oh. Nice. Okay, nice, Frank, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oops. Oh. Desperation. <laughs> Bit of rage there, isn't it? Seems like a bit of frustration there, because he missed the red. Yeah. Did he pick up the red? Smile. No, no, he, um, oh, I don't, not sure. Is he still up? Yeah, he took it. Smiley took it now. Yeah.
we have to trust his Megalon. I, love, I really like moving around this map in this game. But it's probably because it's one of the first maps I made. But... I just found it quite hard because, I mean, it's, it's not a criticism of the game, it's just getting used to the movement. Yeah. Because you can I, accelerate so quickly as beginners, we were like just licking the walls. And yeah. I can re relate to that. I mean, when I play yeah. Reflex, for instance, or when I come back to playing Quake World after having played uh, this and sort of stuff. I yeah. have to relearn everything and I just... Yeah, yeah. It's uncomfortable to watch. <laughs> mm. I think you get in the habit of... Um, when the movement's a little bit slow, you get you get in the habit of trying to make every first jump as fast as possible. And this is a game where you actually... If you want to move quickly around the map, you have to slow yourself down sometimes. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of... Um, Variations to the movement system that yeah. not, you don't necessarily see in other arena this game. Yeah. Which I'm still myself trying to learn to m master. Like, uh, you have a Quake World ish air control effect. But yeah, you do, yeah. But if you stop moving, for pressing forward, you will lose your speed. So yeah. You so you have to it's a bit more to do to bank around a corner or something mm. yeah because just with your typical straight it's like there is air control but the curve is really large yeah and joe is actually leading with six frags six up there yeah. And oh, as I say that, he dies. <laughs> 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 Sorry about that, Joe. Oh, they had a ti uh, timing on items for a really long time there. Item rotating. Is he a big timer, GMT? Mm, he didn't used to be. But it, then it, I think at the first team con LAN he was, he decided to take it up and say, because. He uh, often says that it's too easy to bother with mm. or something. So he's really <laughs> good at it when he ma when he bothers to do it. Right. And I think he might be bothering to do it right now because he wants to win. Yeah. Mm. But he prefers he values the mechanical skill. Right. Uh, more than the uh, technical. Or yeah. Tactical. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's in trouble there. Oh, oh he survived. Nice. He's the super shotgun. Recharge pretty quick. Seven health. Yeah, that's not up. Nice. Yeah. This is a. Uh, Looking like oh, wow. Joe's gonna eat today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm impressed. Let's He's switch switched those well. money over. <laughs> oh, oh. Jinxed him. Yeah. Five. Second time this game. And on this map, when it's so small, I think it's quite easy to get the frags back. Oh, yeah. I should think Plus so. Or if he. Gets the stack. Yeah, it's... And, the, and the players are so fast as well, it's not like you can... Like on Quake World, you can just camp red armor area quite successfully. You can do that on Quake Live as well. Um, but yeah, well, on this game, versus a fairly stacked up opponent, it's quite difficult to sort of it's camp any area. It's hard to play plus back like that. In... Yeah. I mean, you, you can do it if you really land, land launch rockets. Because then you can yeah. basically push anyone away. Yeah. But it, requ it requires that you don't make any mistakes. Yeah. Whoa, small frag. So it's still conceivable for small side. Only six frags behind. Four minutes left. Five frags. Now four. That's totally doable for him. Uh, 
go trying to play defensive here, keeping keep him away. But uh, Smile Scythe is of course very good at moving. Yeah, he's just all over him now, wasn't he? He's like a, as we say in England, a flight of shit. That's a mega but already gone. Yeah. Ow. Three strikes. There, he got on the red. Um, yeah, yeah small cipher was low there, so I guess he decided to. Oh, he's still uh, low. Yes. No. Nice. There we go. You'd know the Mega though. I'm timing Mega. I always find it harder to time Mega because. Yeah. I, I always try to focus more on the armors because those give me more. Close combat. Well, it's really, it's really doing a great job here, keeping, uh, yeah, keeping smile tight at bay. It looks like it's become a lot more difficult for him in the last half of the map. Yeah. He made it look a lot more easy in the first half, and now it's actually. He's actually fighting to hold on to his lead a bit more. Oops. Oh, oh a bit too aggressive there, I think. Yeah. He should have just gone for the Mega and Yellows. Yeah. Yeah, oh, we got that game. might have actually saved the uh, DMT's mm. hide here. Yeah. Yeah. We might Almost actually see. Uh... One minute remaining. He gets a bit pushy as soon as he gets something, though. <laughs> yeah, he, he likes to. F I want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's a good idea, really, to not just let, uh, just not not just stand back, but uh, mm. go push some back as well, you know. Yeah, I think it's obviously a tougher game. You, you, it does reward aggression, I think. Now it's just. Because it, <laughs> it's so hard to plus back in comparison to a lot of other deathmatch games by the looks of it. That your enemy can give such a high damage output, you've, you've got to be able to return that yourself in order to. Yeah, you will want to stand a chance of winning, really. You want to keep moving at least. Yeah. Game over. There we go. GMT took See, he loves the game now. <laughs> 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 um, so, thanks everyone for joining us. Uh, Buy it on Steam now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Al is here. Could greenlit it. Yeah, I've been thinking about it, but oh, I thought he was away. Uh, so it looks like we have another challenger here, if uh, people want to stick around. Yeah, I'm cool, I've got time. Chris Al is the champion. Yeah, Chris oh, Al is the champion. world champion yeah. of Doombringer from the TeamCon LAN, LAN yeah. where six people were playing. 2016. <laughs> I guess we'll have to follow the challenger. Who's he gonna play though? 
Um, well, Smiles had the one. Yeah, you're right. And Alan decides to demonstrate the. Uh, see, Alan, there's Quadro. Hello. Well, uh, Hello. Welcome, GMT. Thank well you. played. And you no said way, you were gonna get owned. Huh? I did. I did get owned. No, you did I should not. have had him on talk. So there was a few crucial misses. Fuse was super one side. It was that, very guess. close. Ah, All of them were close. Kind. I mean, you had a good chance to get back on Fuse as well. Yeah. Pretty so happy with how I played role. What, are you going to buy for dinner with your money? Are you going to get some Domino's pizza? Or? It's actually way too late for dinner, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'll go down the shops tomorrow. I'll get myself a loaf of rye bread. Or like eight loaves. I don't know. <laughs> Sounds like expensive bread. Oh, yeah. Well, Art artisan. Artisan loaf. <laughs> Only the best for Doombringer champions. <laughs> Oops, I re said that wrong too. Ah, well played. That's that quite entertaining. So fast. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it's a good game. It's a good yeah. game. Welcome, Matt. Uh, Matt just joined us. Matt is the guy who made all the sound effects in the game. Oh, Hello. cool. Hello, Matt. I don't. I don't know whether I'm uh, just barging in here or not, but that's <laughs> no, it's, it's quite a run. I just saw that there was a stream going on, and I was like, "Oh, shit! Maybe I should hang around a tiny bit." Well, I want to be famous to too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on some other things. Working on the famous thing. Uh, adventures of the square. Yeah, and. Uh, that's pretty, that's pretty much it in terms of the, the sound stuff, but I'm doing a whole bunch of other stuff uh, for that as well. Level design, graphic work, writing, stuff like that. So it's like, uh, yeah. whatever. I don't, I don't want to promote other stuff here. It's Doombringer. Fucking, like, this needs more publicity. Yeah, well, Adventures of Square is still a pretty cool game. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> So it's who we got here? Who's uh? This, this is uh, Crazy Allen versus Smiley Side. Crazy so Allen tournament, tournament winner versus the uh, world champion Doombringer. Yeah, cool. So and uh, Con Lange. Yeah. Smiley Side is a uh, Zonotic world champion. Oh, oh, so that's uh, that's uh, another um. Dark I guess Quake yeah. 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 Engine. Cool. Contender for. Best all round I think we have too many <laughs> players in the, no? I just got confused. Uh, there's a few bugs to iron out with this Q system. It's Which alpha. Is, yeah. <laughs> uh, for some reason it works in the HUD but not in the actual game, sort of. Hmm. So if you leave uh, yeah. goes back while you're in the queue, it sort of it messes it up. But I have to figure out why yet. So Alan has been looking forward to playing Smile for a while, I think. <laughs> it's uh, his uh, it's a guy he never it's a guy that he feel like he need to beat to really be able to say that he's the world champion of Dubrin. <laughs> uh -huh. It's like boxing. Yeah. But you see, you can see Al outside. is uh, very comfortable with the movement here. At least. Yeah. Yeah. Nice snappy aim as well. Yeah. He and I play almost every day and he usually beats me. So. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> I'm just curious as to uh, how people are uh, liking the sound effects so far because like th there's like some issues with uh, 
the um like when you go through teleporters it sounds phased because you can hear the same sound uh happen like just what like a millisecond later in the other like exit part so it sounds weird so i gotta like figure out a way to fix that uh well we can just do that by having two different sound effects you know one for entry and right one for exit. Yeah. Like, and, uh, and like with like different dynamic ranges so they don't like like overlap each other too much yeah but i uh, i don't think personally i don't think it bothers me that much because it's a teleporter and it, i don't mind if it sounds kind of phased you know? yeah <laughs> what's this I don't know. It's it's a me thing. Uh, <laughs> I want everything to sound perfect, and it's. But I think uh, Quake World they dealt with that by having like five different uh, sound effects for the, that they randomly chose between. Right. So I'm um, I'm wondering if uh, I should either go that route or because um, like the thing is you don't want to if you do have like random sound effects then they have to kind of be within the same quote unquote like family of sound effects so conveyance is still there like yeah. as to what happened in the world so uh, well, uh it's a it would probably just be easier to make uh, one sound effect for entry and one for exit yeah, yeah. less work <laughs> that too <laughs> we don't need more work that's for sure yeah uh since i'm watching the stream currently i'm not i'm not logged uh. into the server uh, since we're uh, currently not having a dedicated programmer on the team, it breaks the uh, momentum of doing everything a bit for yeah. me. Since well, I've the thing is, I do programming, but I have no experience in Quake C. So, like, I can I can do like simple changes yeah. to the um, to like where I think the sound effects are played, but then uh, I d I'm not sure on what weapon frame or animation frame that it's occurring on yeah you I'm, can't really do yeah. as far as i know specific weapon frame coding because yeah. the way the animation system works right right so so it seems like uh there has to be like a separate function call like on if you can do it like at the start of like when you push fire for like like the was it the punching sound effects for the fist are a little bit offset from like when the punch is thrown, so I'm like, well, yeah, I'd have, I would have to figure out where to write code to get it to play on the fire key, and then I'd have to maybe change the sounds for like the impact or a miss or like no sound for a miss. So it's like, it, it's a learning, it's a learning experience for me, um, in terms of I haven't really done anything in Quake in the longest time. So it's almost like learning slash relearning, and uh, but I'm I'm just glad that there's a, uh, uh, a attenuation, virtual channels, and stuff like that in the sound engine. So that's at least one that headache gone. Yeah, <laughs> it's something. Yeah, yeah. Counting blessings. Um, yeah. Well, for me, it's been a lot of learning as well. I'm I'm not a programmer at, at all, really. I mean. What I've done before is uh, scripting uh, in uh, C-based uh, games like uh, ACS right. and the Fraggle script. Well, hey, uh, I mean, scripting is basically programming with a, yeah. a host process above you. Yeah, but it's just been uh, doing if uh, or else, basically. Right, yeah. yeah. Well, got to start somewhere. So I've learned a lot of programming this week. Last six months mm. but um, but it does make me lose focus on uh, all the other things right like, yeah. uh, animations are uh, sorely put on the back burner you know yeah yeah I have a new hand model in the works that I uh, just don't end up working on right yeah, oh, it is what it is, right? Like we're we're just doing this in our spare time, so it's <laughs> it's going to be slow at times and a little bit quicker at times. Like that's how Square's development kind of is at the moment. Our our our, you know, uh, Jimmy Paddock is away at university sometimes, and uh, we currently have him, uh, I guess, on vacation. So that's when we really have to move. <laughs> But uh, other times it's just a little slow, and I have to kind of uh, keep everybody motivated. 
and it's like, you know, I'm done with college. I just, <laughs> I just yeah. need to. <laughs> well, I'm a teacher by day, so I can uh. usually come home quite tired from yeah. having four <laughs> to five kids to manage. Jeez, yeah, I know the feeling. But it's nice to have some programming to do that. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's so different from my day job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, I, I don't do sound stuff for a living. Uh, my, my living is programming, so... Uh, the... You know, this is like... Uh, the creative outlet. Mm. That's different from, you know, my normal work, so... Yeah. It's good to have other projects. Uh, Alan just got killed, by the way. After <laughs> owning shit up for uh, quite a while. Still has loot though. Sorry, zombie. Quite a big loot though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Uh, it's only two minutes left, but it could happen. I mean, but I haven't seen uh, Smile making any really aggressive uh, frag streaks. Looks so comfortable though. Alan. The movement and everything. He, yeah. he moves. He moves. Like his movement's not bad in Quake World by any means, but he moves better in this than he does in Quake World. Yeah, I think he's. Uh, like I said, he he, he earned that title at like Team Command. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he wasn't just the least shit. He was the best. <laughs> <laughs> There's a difference. Exactly. Actually, it was a better competition uh, than I expected there. Tim, yeah? Tim nice. really Tim kicked my ass. I was very di disappointed with myself. He hasn't, and he hasn't played the game since. But he said he liked it, so... So who is Tim then? Is that... Uh, that's... Oh, Neeple. Neeple, okay. Uh, the undisputed champion of the world. Crazy Alan. See which maps are picking after this. Uh, what, he was um, AFK tonight with family or something? Uh, yeah, he said so. Yeah. Yeah, he, he wants to play. <laughs> yeah, he texted him, so <laughs> something's come up. Yeah, screw family, I gotta play. Yeah. <laughs> gotta prioritize. Hell yeah. yeah. Family is what you got Christmas for. Yeah. Rest of the years. <laughs> <laughs> now Christmas you have when you're yeah. gonna play Quake. All right. Game. Don't have to do schoolwork or work. GG. Whoa, forty-one percent on the raid. Yeah. Really? Yep. Thirty-seven on the other side as well. Am I reading that right? No, it's 37 and 16, isn't it? Uh, he got a 37 oh. on the LG. Smile. Yeah. But he didn't use so it much, so it was probably one or two bursts. So who did the original announcer voices? That That's is GMT, isn't it? GMT. Oh, oh GMT. So. That must be, I would find that a bit strange, my own voice telling me this. Yeah, Joel doesn't like... Uh, yeah, always, oh. always runs a little off. But... Uh, yeah. Matt, I'm, I'm kind uh, of... I'm kind of redoing maybe some of the announcer stuff. I didn't know whether this was like placeholder or or where we were going with with it, but well, I was I like, ask Joel to do it because good quality. he's a yeah. uh, he got an interesting voice. And yeah. But we can have we can also have different announcers because I'm because that would be pretty easy to add, you know. Yeah. Um, Get a zombie 90 an answer. Yeah. <laughs> but but I uh, like uh, Joel is pretty laid back in his announcer, and yeah. some people would probably want a more energetic. Or I, I'm kind of like focusing on a uh, like a more like because like Doom Doombringer seems to be has that like uh, steampunkish Victorian charm to it. So like it really needs some kind of like a showman. I feel in in, in some ways. The announcer. Yeah. I think what you need is a glam metal singer just screaming. <laughs> <everything>. Doombringer! 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. We got like so uh, one of the guys. Ah, uh, smart. Uh, what? Steel oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seems like uh, smile scythe was done now. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Um, anyone up for uh, facing Alan? Joe? What miss? You did good against Smile Side. Come on, Joe. Oh, wait, he's not here. He's muted himself. Uh oh. Faster. Bastarda. Uh, okay. I guess I'd, I'll. Do. Maybe Christus can step in. So where is everybody in the world? Uh, I think I'm. I, I'm on. Well, I think. What the hell? The other I'm, side. I'm on the east. I'm on the east uh, coast of the United States. So this is like earlier in the day for me. So where are you guys? Uh, ah. I'm um, I am Swedish, of course. Yep. I'm in France, but uh, I'm English. Time so here is nine o'clock. Yeah, so it's like yeah, it's like way later. Yeah. What's the, time right here. What's the time where you are? Uh, three in the afternoon. Okay. So, oh, yeah. Six hours in. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what map Alan wants. Of course he does. Jewel six. Aggressor. Aggressor. Oh, this is um. This is like uh, open no, arena. It's like a ZTN map, isn't it? It's an open arena map. Really? Open arena. Maybe it is a ZTN map as well. I yeah. Know. I've only seen it in open arena though. On Quake Mode, it. it's called ZTN. I think it's DM4. I can't remember. It's one of the ZTN DM maps. Okay. Mm. On Quake World. No so that's what, I was, yeah. that's what I was curious about. Like, are uh, uh, were some of these maps from other projects, or were they made specifically for Doombringer? Uh, well, this map Andrew co ported over from Open Arena himself. Ah. Uh, the arrow map, map Arrowwalk I made from scratch, but it's based on Arrowwalk by Hubster and uh, what's it called? What's it called? The other guy. Is it Preacher? Preacher, yeah. Uh, yeah that's, a, that's an uh, original Quake World map. Yeah. But that's, yeah, it's from a Quake World origin. But that's, that's in every Quake game, though. <laughs> and a pretty, lot of other. Pretty, pretty much every Deathmatch game, even yeah. Yeah. Unreal Tournament. And Toxicity, which is Dual 2, is based on. is a conversion. That I actually asked uh, the Fury for permission oh. to use his map, uh, and he gave it. Cool. Great guy, nice. that guy. Yeah. Because uh, I'm not, I'm not privy to like, I, I'm, 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 the Quake uh, multiplayer scene is kind of like alien to me since I uh, hang around the the Doom modding scene way more. So I, I'm not, I'm never ever. Like quite sure where, where everything comes from, or yeah, who, yeah, yeah. Uh, most people are. Well, the reason I actually decided to use other ma others previous familiar maps is that it's a lot easier to get people to try your game if they actually have something familiar to play on. Right. Especially in a, a dual match like this, you know, if you if I was gonna like show my game to someone. Yeah. It's good to have arrow walk or something that they can uh, play on, because uh, I when I play with new people on the maps I made, they are busy just seeing where everything is. Yeah, yeah. So I can't focus on the gameplay itself. 
Yeah, I think you need a mix of both because it's like if you don't, then people criticise it for not having familiar maps, and if you do, if all you have is that, people criticise it for not okay. having original map. Yes. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, like, like stuff that have, what is it, like, like maps that have the layouts, like like a familiar layout, uh, is is always beneficial because of the, uh, yeah, because you want to, you know draw people in and be like oh they made the map for this cool like yeah. kind of like how the edge appears in, in a bunch of places that yeah uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, it's even a doom version for it oh is it really? we, we yeah. made a uh, we made an adventures of square version for it but it didn't end up in any of our releases yet okay. but, but well, it exists darkening has a square. map called the edge 2 uh. for instance yeah uh, so, so that's a quake 2 map isn't it the edge yeah that's yeah. the Q2 DM one. But that's in Quake 3 and um, Quake World. And Quake World. Yeah. Yeah. There was a Quake World version, yeah. And and soon Square. So. <laughs> and of course, is, is a that, Doom um, 3 map as well. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Oh, or like, is it in Quake 4? I think. It's in Quake 4, maybe, but it is a Quake Live version of it as well. Right. Well, two actually. No, it's um, called Winter's Edge as a winter map, a uh, Christmas uh, map, and there's also Edge 2, which is, or Redux, or whatever you call it. Do uh, you know, do you know Yamazaki's story about the Edge? No. He actually, he met his wife on the Edge. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Gaming Land. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Someone said that's that... Uh, that's, that's why it's his, it's his favorite map. Someone <laughs> uh, who was a streamer said they met their wife by streaming a game and she asked to come in and play with him. Oh yeah. And then they were married. I can't remember who it was now though. I don't think it was Yamasaki unless... No, no. He's not a streamer. No, it was quite a few years ago. Yeah. They've got... They've got like two or three kids now. Funny how that goes. <laughs> yes, funny yes. story. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, now comes the cursing. was an interesting uh, gameplay decision to kind of have the uh, weapon impacts push you around a bit. Like, I, I played against the the bots in uh, in Doombringer just to test, uh, uh, you know, the, yeah. how sounds work in, in the world and, and whether things sound right or don't sound right. Uh, tweaks and the just the the lightning gun is the worst to be on the receiving end of. Yeah, it's just pushes you around so I was yeah. so I was kind of wondering um, what was I guess the I guess, I guess the main motivation or m motivation towards that the decision to have the weapon uh, impacts move the player um, well to begin with uh, the quake engine is very good at that <laughs> Hmm. Uh, if you play Quake World, you notice that you get thrown around quite a bit as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, the reason I decided to go with that was because I thought it was pretty fun, for one. And hmm. with a lightning gun, for instance, uh, now the bots, they are insanely good at those lightning guns. They hit about 100% oh, yeah. at the present time. Right. <laughs> uh, but uh, when I and Alan play as well, you know, you can get those times where you push push each other away. And when, I, uh, when that became a thing with the lighting gun, it made it a lot more useful without being just extremely high DPS. Right. Mm. I think it's a good... Um, mechanic in a game though, because like you can push people out of items and stuff. Yeah. Mm. Because yeah. in Qu Quake Live it's harder like to... Yeah, it's more like you... 
And if you don't have the rocket launcher, you, you can't really juggle a person in such a way that it, it pushes them away from critical things. But, yeah, but you but can also... The even the rocket launcher in Quake like, is quite... Uh, what do you say? Tame? Uh, like, you don't uh, fly as much from the splash? Uh, yeah, surely, yeah. <clears throat> You can uh, have the great weapon, yeah. Every weapon is fanatic. <laughs> um, what, push back your enemy with every weapon? Yeah, almost. Oh, smile is here. Welcome. Uh, yeah, that's... Um, but also... You can also use it against them, you know. Like, you can yep. use uh, that pushback to get away a lot. You can actually use... Yeah, yeah, because like in... Um, Quick world, if you're getting LG down a corridor, if you press jump, your pushback will help you evade. Hmm, that's true. If they're hitting accurate LG on you, you'll accelerate away from them at incredible speed. So it's like just additive acceleration. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, the acceleration in um, Quake world when you get LG accurately is insane. It's also one of the things about LG is um, one of the good things about the pushback is it provides uh, satisfying moments when you like, for example, pin your enemy to the scene. Yeah, that's really fun. Yeah. <laughs> or if you shoot them from below or something, you, they yeah. just go flying. Yeah, and I, I, and I think that uh, makes the feeling of shooting lightning out of your gun feel more like you're actually shooting something as well. Yeah, it gives you a feedback. Yeah. That's, um, Feels real somehow. Uh, it, it, because like the not everything seems like, animated yet, the, there it's missing that. But I mean, we're we're it's in an alpha state, so yeah. 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 I wanted, I, like I said, I plan. I wanted to have the next version be a public release. So, mm. but I also wanted a lot of other things to be done before that. Especially the animations, not done, but at least there. In yeah, the but, but at the same, have, yeah. same time, it feels like I would be have to wait for ever then to get to that point. Ah, oh, Alan, bastard. Do you think you're gonna do um, like proper Fulbright modeling? What? Do you think you're gonna do proper full Fulbright modeling? Because it. It can be a bit hard to see the enemies. Uh, you can go into the avatar LG screen thing. and uh, change to a full bright model. Right. Uh, so a there's a there's a skin called Max Clarity. In the next version, you will also see that represented in the menu. But uh, okay. But I don't. Skins. But you don't have that yet. It's uh, always funny to me. Uh, to see, like all the cool graphical oh, right. stuff that people put in the game, and then people scale it down, like to like nothing, just yeah. to either get out all the performance or see everything clearly. Like I would think that the best uh, FPSs these days kind of have a more stylistic look rather than a like a realistic look yeah. in some weird ways. Yeah, especially for competitive ones. Mm. Quite that important. is certainly true with the uh, last year's FPSs like uh, Overwatch and whatever else there was. Uh, there's a lot more stylistic uh, designs there, but also still a lot of uh, superfluous details. Right. Yeah, that's what I. That's what. That's what I like about your fuse textures. It's got detail to it, but still. Really nice and clear. Yeah. For competitive play. It's not heavy on the eyes or Come on now. <laughs> He's lucky he was playing Smile Sight before on Airwalk. I would have kicked his ass. <laughs> Kind of hard to play and talk at the same time. Yeah, I, I figured, like, <laughs> like, 
There is. Yeah, there is some distracting Christus. <laughs> people shooting me with rockets in this map. Right? I keep to di I keep dying. Uh, five seconds left. I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 23 frags. Oh no. You have, you have like a dev code, like you pr pass. Uh, yeah. Push I just kick him out. They always spawn like next to you the whole time. Oh. Like, it just bans them from the game. I can try one if my ping is. Uh, your ping should Good be enough. fine. No, it's never fine. <laughs> hey, we're racing here. He lives in the woods. All right, that's true. With eight megabit connection. I live in the woods too. Shared with four people. Mm. Not good. A vote has been called. Can play the map we haven't played yet then. Fascistas. This is my map. If, if Alan is planning to vote yes. Vote Alan, failed. you didn't vote. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Alan. <laughs> feeling so good, now? I feel, yeah, I feel pretty good about myself. <laughs> I'm honest. I thought, okay. you were, thought you were partying with your family. Uh, not yet. I discovered they actually arrived all later, so... I'm start on all that money. So, let's try this again. The only map we haven't played yet of the. Oh, really? You haven't map. played this? No. I thought you made them play it. <laughs> no, since uh, Smile didn't, uh, didn't know this map. Oh, well, this is the one with the uh, teleporter up in there, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is a cool looking map. I intend to make it a bit more visually appealing eventually, but. Uh, haven't got around around to it yet. I think Game. that like early early on, we want more feedback on how it plays and yeah. what needs to be tweaked and changed versus how things look. Yeah, but uh, we played tested this map quite a bit me you now, so and and uh, Nocturne helped me uh, with it as well. The one thing that I've that I'm sort of been concerned about this map. Um, Concerning any changes or even our changes, like I'm just wondering where is the player of the year plaque going to go? <laughs> <laughs> because I've got a few ideas. Do you bring champ. a champion? Yeah, champion. 2016. If you if you don't behave, I'll I'll put that Sorry. video of you dancing into oh no don't do that <laughs> into the game. A... Right, okay, I'll be here. <laughs> I want to see that now. It, it should be an intro video. <laughs> yeah, like, every time you start the game. Alan dancing to classic punk. Are you not also dancing? No, I'm filming. Oh, motherfucker. It's you so and, jo you and Marzo. So you avoid most embarrassing things, be the one with the camera. Yeah. True. Fucking do this. Let's get it on. Three, two, one, fight. Oh, fucking hell, mate. Ah.
haven't mastered how movement works in this game because I, I don't know like how to do like all those weird tricks where I just accelerate my speed in the air or bunny hop really well. Yeah. It's... Nice. It's always gonna be the boo, the great strength and oh, great problem man. of the arena FPS, I believe. That the movement system is something you have to learn. Yeah. Uh, well, I would think that would be also uh, uh, something difficult to do when you're porting maps from. Like, if you have. If, if you do, like, say, hey, uh, uh, is it okay if we use your map for this? Yeah. You'd have to still make small adjustments depending on how different player movement is. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. between all of the versions of the edge I've seen, the, the, uh, the layouts are either slightly different or the size of each area is slightly different to accommodate player movement. Like, a slower player, the map seems smaller. And yeah. for faster players, they have to kind of space things out a bit. So yeah. it's, it's always, there's always going to be that sort of, those sort of adjustments that need to be made. Uh, I think the best example of that is really Arrow Walk. If you compare the Quake World, World Arrow Walk to Quake 2, for instance, you'll notice that it's uh, more cramped there. And if you then compare like the Quake Live Arrow Walk to uh, Quake th uh, Doom 3, for instance. Mm. It's yeah, yeah. Very limit, very different in uh, the layout. Even though it's supposed to be the same, playing the same yeah. map. So. That was a dope pro, just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, if you compare Thank like uh, toxicity in here and compared to Quake Live or CPMA. It plays rather different because uh, uh, the jumps are different. So that simply because, not because the geometry is different, but because the games are different. Mm. And I think that's. I mean, you you have to make a map work, of course, but uh, I don't think you need to make every jump work or. At least not the same way, you know. Right. Mm. Or you can have different jumps at work. Uh, well, yeah, I guess it's just to facilitate the map flow. Yeah. For the most part. Because if you have like a a, a a game where player movement's slower, a large map is going to be just a pain in the ass to navigate. Yeah. And it'll take like an eternity to go from one end to the other. I can sort think of some games like that. Well, yeah. you have Fuse with the uh, Quake Line, for instance, which <laughs> was made for uh, Zonotic, where it's very rapid movement around the map. And you, oh, Jesus! And in um, and in Quake Line, I think it's I think it's straight. The, the phenomenon I notice is actually the faster the movement, generally, the smaller the maps need to be because the bigger the map, the more easily you can evade your opponent if you've got fast movement. Yeah, that's true. For example, in uh, when Reflex first came out, that was just the kind of context that everyone took. Oh, it's got really fast movement, so it needs to have really fast maps. So loads of these really huge maps were getting made in the editor. None of them, none of them worked at all. That and is over time, uh, maps got slower. Uh, sorry, smaller. Yeah. Yeah. That is in, uh, certainly the case with Quake World. I mean, yeah, yeah those maps yeah. are really tight. Corners, um. Yeah, but the maps in Quake World are quite bad though, because the damage in the weapons are so huge. So yeah, you don't need to aim that much. I yeah. think Bravado is pretty good. I like Bravado for LG, but I think oh. um, another thing though is because Quake World movement isn't like you have to practice a lot to master it, but it's not that hard to learn. Yeah, it's pretty... and. Um, yeah. For that reason, it helps that the maps are quite hard to move around because it actually provides more difficulty. So the movement isn't added to you on a plate. Because if, if the corridors were wider and like ceilings were higher, then the movement would be easier because you'd be able to flow around the map. 
mm. with much less practice. Yeah, and um, it will also be a lot dif more difficult to get something done, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, now I'm losing focus again here. Let's see. <laughs> oh, see. I can't even get a mega me. I can't even rocket jump me. Oh. I didn't even think that was going to work. What's the armor system? Is it like um, the Quake World system or is it more like no, it's, the Quake Live? It's more like Quake Live. Right. So if you've got red, you can pick up yellow. Yeah. Right. Uh, I like the idea of tiered armor more than I like the actual practice of it. You know? Right. Like in, if you got, I don't think it would work with this game like that, you know, because the reason it works in Quake World is because you have such high DPS weapons there. That's yeah. Uh, that that sort of thing is. Uh, in still like it's kind of hard to convey it's easy to convey like on the hud but it's in impo almost impossible to convey in mm. in like a, like as you play like you don't you don't ever really see that your armor makes any sort of impact uh, other than the fact that you it's harder for you to die yeah and <laughs> that's that's uh always a, something weird to get right or or so did that uh, and Quake 2 actually I'm not sure if Quake no Quake 2 had tiered armors with the different defenses but uh, Warsaw did it by having the same armor but uh, you could only pick up the yellow to a certain point hmm. yeah like here it just feels uh, added in yeah it just added in so like this one just gives you a hundred points, this one gives you yeah. fifty. Nice and simple. <laughs> yeah. But uh, in Square we we use like Doom's armor class system, yeah. and it's uh, we we do on the HUD uh, show you what uh, co last color armor you picked up because we don't have like armor bonuses, so you mm. can't like just increase within that armor. So, uh, like, if you picked up, like, the red, the brick armor, uh, that protects you about, like, 75%, but you don't know that unless you're doing the math as you're getting hit. Uh, but if uh, you pick up, like, a lesser armor, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll get the uh, full armor, uh, but um, you will be kind of protected less or whatever the current yeah. armor class is. So, so the, uh, and then the thing is, uh, if you, what armor you can pick up is dictated by how much armor you already have. So you can pick up red if you're below, I think 150, but you can't pick up yellow if you're above a hundred and so on and so forth. So it's like, yeah. Yeah. I, I was, I was thinking about having like a, like an armor repair item, but I was not sure whether or not you can define a, uh, whether a pickup uh, succeeds or fails by how much, if you have armor at all and what current armor class you have. So it's it's weird. I was like, I just wanted to have like maybe a duct tape graphic in there. So like, it's just the repair bit, but. I think uh, ultimately like you can do the math for DPS and um like how much damage you can take and all sorts of stuff like that and figure it out but you don't really you don't really learn it properly until you just play the game enough time so you've actually just learned to feel it yeah yeah it just uh, becomes second 